Hey guys, what is up? We are back with another week of Undead Unluck and we only have four more episodes to go until the season finale and they're just unpacking the world building of the entire series. So you mean to tell me when the good gets going or the going gets good, this is when we're on the countdown, we're on the chopping block for the finale in four weeks. I need a season two, okay? So from last week, we basically had the equivalent of a Gintama episode where everybody tried to become a mangaka and this way they can get close to the person who was telling the events of the past, present, and future in their manga, which is Kimini Tadoke, okay? And they went to Shueisha and now they're going to go and confront the artist who created their version of Kimi Ni Tadoke, which is 101 volumes, by the way, in their universe. And hopefully they'll be able to see, okay, what's these three missing events from Billy's um, betrayal. Again, I forgot the second one. And obviously the history of Andy. So without further ado, let's get into Undead Unluck episode 20. Again, they have to deal with the four seasons. <laughs> oh, they, oh, they're in Canada. Oh, yeah, they have to go to Canada. Whoa, they have Rohan's ability? No way. <laughs> Open up books. What? Oh. What? Who the heck is that? Who is you? Is that to be their future if they what? Oh no. Bro. Hold on, she she was the one narrating the whole time? What? Not her narrating everything. Hold on, wait, what? She she's pulling a deadpool on us. That's a whole private shit. Twenty years? How old is I don't
20 years they've been writing. That means she's way older than that. So the whole time, the, narr the narrator was the mangaka. She's doing a whole Deadpool, bro. How half of the force is on them, the other half isn't. What? Yeah, that little boy. Protein. Look like fries. Go for the let. You know, she already took. She's literally behind y'all. Yeah. Right. Oh, it was to how to defeat the Umas. Okay. Oh, what um, th yo, they look like sp spider Umas. The juniors. That's what I'm saying. Cause I'm like, it's December. Arc begin. Oh no! What? What? Yeah, never meet your idols, right? <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, what's what's Anno's um negator ability?
girl, you're gonna die because because Anna already knows what's your future. Train the training arc. Yeah, y'all gonna Yeah. I'm gonna show them what the training arc Biography. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's, oh. What the, f yo. Yo. It's like Rohan's ability from JoJo's part four, but horror mixed together. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, and that's how they make the spiders. Oh. Oh, you lack ideas. Mm. Oh. Ooh. In the rule, oh, oh, wow, wait, whoa, you're get what the frig. Nah, I know. No, you the true. What the fuck? Nah, nah, nah. Nah, who it? Nah. Nah, the, the manga cuts crap. Bro. Hold um, what you call ripping the others are there. <laughs> You chopped off your own arm, my friend. So what was the point of you chopping off your own arm?
Oh God! No, you're insane. Please go to a hospital. What yeah, where are y'all at? Oh. Listen oh only listen bad ending. Damn. I don't understand poker, but you know what? Gamble away. <laughs> Try and damn. Oh, he's finally admitted that him and Victor, their power levels are quite different. We're finally getting a training arc in the last four episodes. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my Jesus. That's years worth of oh wow. Oh wow. Oh oh past the sky. Oh oh That's so oh broke the out in this that's a lot of history. Y'all got some reading to do. What the f I had a feeling it was gonna end there. <laughs> I'm so mad. Okay, first and foremost, Ano Sensei. It's probably one of the most broken characters aside from like, I would say, Victor. And I, okay, I'm gonna rank, I'm gonna rank in terms of negators because Ano has to be, I know probably their pen that they have is a Uma. No, it's a artifact. But at the same time, we see clearly they're able to move in between spaces without being detected and at such speed that it looks like they, to put into the whole perspective, like they cut a page or something and they're from here and then they're there by the time you blink your eyes. So I think, I think personally, 
um, Ano does have a negator ability on top of using an artifact, which is the pen, which gives them the ability to see the future and draw it out. And so as they say, their ability is to um, only draw one thing into existence at a, at a time. Um, it's Ano Sensei Reckless? Yes, because they cut off their own arm. <laughs> They're not like Andy slash Victor that can regenerate their arm. Um, but I do like the fact that one, the irony of like, when it's particularly with Shonen overall, um, action battle oriented Shonen, um, with very few exceptions, I guess, um, very few, uh, like Jojo or, 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 uh, Jiu Jutsu or, um, very, very, very few series or like, um, I, I think even the Gray Man. Um, at some point and even though you know I, I, I always refer back to this series because it is my most favorite series my number one Gintama uh, they don't really have training arts they make fun of it or like they completely just don't use it at all it's funny that um, in in this show now they're parroting a training arc I, well not even so much as parroting they are going to use in a training arc but it's very unique compared to a lot of battle oriented series that we've all know okay where technically before the next big battle they take a whole arc or a very short arc to show the character building strength in order to combat an opponent that is 10 times stronger than they are and then now you're going to see their progress so in this case for for particularly um, Andy and Fuko, they have to know about themselves. Again, very unique way because usually training arcs entail, especially in battle-oriented shonen series, it's more so boosting your powers, boosting your abilities and your techniques to further uh, capsule that you can fight against the opponent that you're currently at. So if you guys remember from um, like Naruto days or even Dragon Ball Z or even Bleach or anything, um, their opponent is way stronger than them. So they're like, you know, I'm going to make a bigger Kamehameha or I'm going to go up Super Saiyan, like another level of Super Saiyan, or I'm going to learn how to uh, control the Shadow Clone or do um, Sage Mode or I don't know, learning how to control my um hollow side anything of that sort you've seen it in hunter hunter they had to train before they go into um what was that island again um then we went into the video game i forgot that or even learning then a whole training montage and everything right they had to do that in order to what level up right but it's i mean in a way yes it's, it's learning about themselves but at the same time it was more so what technique can i acquire um based in my arsenal or what technique can i create that can put me on the same level as my opponent that i'm soon to face off against you know they beat me the first time and i'm not gonna allow them to beat me the second time so what technique can i create that can that's going to be my finisher or it's going to level me with my with my opponent in this case which i really like and i think they're going to drive this uh for the last remaining episodes of undead unluck because it looks like the last big battle they're going to have for this season and i could be totally wrong because again i don't read the manga but uma autumn is going to look like the big bad of the ending of this season probably probably they may end off on a cliffhanger of the season yeah every episode is a cliffhanger but if they don't end off on Uma Autumn, then I'm going to guess the next Uma that they're going to face off against is Uma Winter. Um, and they're just going to leave off on that cliffhanger before they can get to them. Or it could be that they um, are going to show, like, a, before, before anything, a cliffhanger of Billy and what he's doing. Could be, I don't know. Again, like I said, I don't read the manga. But in this case, their training arc is going to be understanding themselves. Literally understanding themselves, knowing themselves deep within, and seeing unveiling parts of themselves that they never knew about, okay? Understanding their own abilities and how they can capitalize on it. And that way, especially with like Andy, particularly Andy and Fuko, Andy knowing, um, one, his entire past, basically victor how did the um persona andy came to be because he's younger than victor victor has been through countless loops 
um basically the world ending every single time and then rebirth and all of that stuff so andy's been here there had to be a point in time where where victor something happened to victor in his past that created andy i don't know if it's a specific death that was like semi-permanent or if it's like um something psychologically uh damaging to victor that caused the persona of andy to emerge okay and that led to the results that we know all the way back from episode one where andy doesn't have much memories and he said he's been here for about 250 years right 250 years plus again i compared him to wolverine logan right and then with fuko um when she's going to get hit by autumn's tentacles and everything basically a rohan she's going to get they're both gonna get rohan okay they're rohan that's rohan's ability for if you ever watch um jojo's bizarre adventure part four rohan's ability is the i forgot his ability's name but it's basically he can read anything about you he opens you up like a book and funnily enough he's a manga club. this author likes jojo's bizarre adventure they like from me to you they like um what you call it what you call it um izuma 11 and and he likes um he likes jojo's bizarre adventure i guess his favorite character is rohan what other what other uh series are you planning to um you know from shueisha it's, it's not copyright my friends because they're in the same magazine same publisher and everything you know <laughs> but um nonetheless also with Fuga, I'm going to guess it's going to also unveil her a lot of her um traumas and everything that she's going to have to understand and um reveal about herself and she's going to have to confront it in order to again capitalize on her ability on luck because it happens at random yes it happens due to the um admiration and the likeness that she has towards andy but for her to fully control that power on her own and use it at her own disposal not waiting for particularly her affinity towards something or someone but when she comes into scenarios where she's like bro i'm gonna hit you with some unluck okay i'm the one controlling my powers she has to have a better understanding of herself and that may lead to her confronting her deepest fear aka like the day she lost her parents and all the tragedies that follow afterwards you know so um that's just all my guesses my hypothesis my theories on everything that's going on again Ano is basically the Rohan of this universe okay and the fact that that they've been narrating the the beginning of the each episode yeah yeah this is some Deadpool Jojo type yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, guys, do tell me in the comment section below how you felt about this week's episode of Undead Unluck, episode 20. If you are a manga reader, of course, no spoilers, but do tell me how you felt about this episode versus the chapter it adapted from. The links are in the description box. You guys go check that out. And I'm Kimmy Chan, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!